Hello again, everyone. So for this demo, I'm going to showcase an R pipeline workflow from 3ds Max, creating an asset, importing it into Stingray with the PBR materials set up properly, adding it to a level, exporting that asset out of Stingray into Maya, doing some vertex painting with a new vertex shader, and then sending it back to Stingray. So this is a, a good example of different artists using different tools across different pipelines and being able to share and move across the tools with the DCC plugins. So first in Max here, I, have a, I just created this real simple pipe and I have unwrapped it and now I'm going to set up my materials. So in our material editor, we want to do the DirectX shader in Max and if we double click on this node here, you can see that I have set up some uh, different metals here. I've got a normal map, a color map, metallic map, the PBR material. So I've already just added my textures in here. And these are just living in a local directory for me. So to turn these on, I'm going to set these values to one here. And there we go. So now we can see that my material is properly applied here in the 3ds max window so i've named my asset pipe and my material is named pipe 00, zero right here in the direct text shader so now we're pretty much ready to export this of course this is kind of just a quick overview it's not really how to do art so much as just the workflow so we have this pipe and we're going to export this guy out i'm going to save him as pipe 00, zero. So now we have exported him out. So <clears throat> I'm going to go into Stingray here, and I've just opened the uh, the basic template here. So in my uh, props folder, I am going to import my pipe by dragging the FBX into the Stingray window here, and the defaults are fine for importing. Click Import. And you'll see that our pipe will show up, and it's going to import the textures here into a separate folder. And we have our material here, and you can see that it's all set up properly, and we have our pipe. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to my models. I'm going to grab a floor, throw a floor out here, set this to 000, go back to where my pipe lives. I'm going to select prototype under the create menu. I'm going to fly over here. I'm going to drag me a little prototype. I'm going to set this guy up somewhere about right here. I'm going to take my pipe, drag it out into the scene. And let's just say this pipe is hanging up in the mid sky here, somewhere between two walls. So I'm going to duplicate this guy by holding shift and dragging. So now I have like a, a basic pipe here in my scene. If I want to adjust my light so I can maybe see that pipe a little better, you can rotate your light around, get different angles, whatever you'd like to, uh, to display your, your pipe here in your scene. This is good for our intents and purposes. So now I'm going to save this level. I have already called this level a pipe level. And uh, I just save that to my content levels folder under the name pipe. So now that I have that guy set up, let's say your, uh, your art director says, well, this pipe is great, but I want to add some rust to it. Um, <clears throat> so we can select this asset here and say the artist who's going to do the vertex painting works in Maya and doesn't work in Max. Well, now we can just right click with Maya open and do send to Maya. We're going to do allow. And then it's off screen, but I'm going to drag it over here. It has now been sent to Maya. So the same asset is now in Maya. So the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our vertex shading. So let's say he already has a, a shader set up. So if we look at our shader here, if we open the shader graph, this is the exact same shader graph that we had in Stingray. It's also the same graph that we had in Max. 
So it's not really set up here for vertex painting, but what I've already done is prepared a shader and I'm going to include it here on the post for you guys to grab and download. So we can just go file import graft. And I have this guy living here for pipe. Open this guy, and now you can see it's a little bit different. We've uh, we've updated some of these nodes here to include some rust textures that we're going to paint through the vertex colors. So I can go ahead and close that, and the shader graph is set up. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go to adding in my vertex paint color tool here. It's going to show up on the left. I want to make sure that I select my item. Come over here. So the next step I would like to do is make sure that my color value is set to red. We're going to paint that red vertex color, so I set that here. And now with my paintbrush, I can just simply paint on whatever type of rust that I would like in this scene here. So let's say we want to paint this whole guy kind of a rusty copper color. So we're just going to slather this on. So now, in my scene here, if I go to Maya and hit Update, it's going to say yes. So now we're updating here in Stingray. And as you can see in my scene now, my pipe is now has this nice rust color to it. Well, let's say that's a little too much rust. So we can go back into our vertex painting. And we can uh, set this back to black. And then we can just paint on here and take some of that rust away. And then we just hit update again. And if we go back to Stingray, now you can see that our asset has properly updated here in the scene for painting those vertex colors. So this is a pretty simple way to showcase the uh, interoperability between 3ds Max, creating our assets, setting up our materials properly, and then exporting them out, importing them into Stingray, and then sending this asset into Maya for a different artist to do vertex painting using a new vertex shader graph that he imported. Now, all of these shader graphs are shareable between Max, uh, Maya, Maya LT, and Stingray. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple workflow to go back and forth between the, the two or three different programs, however your art pipeline would like to work that out. So I hope you enjoyed uh, learning a little bit about the interoperability here between Max, Maya, and Stingray, and look forward to more videos in the future.